welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're taking a closer look at the temptations that people have to see if we can figure out why we're tempted to commit sins. People generally commit sins because they're after something they want, and they sin in an attempt to get it. So we're looking over the things people want. Today, excitement. Excitement is the state of being excited, so once again we'll start out by defining what we mean by excited. Definition. Having, showing, or characterized by a heightened state of energy, enthusiasm, eagerness, etc., feeling or showing excitement. So excitement isn't necessarily an experience or an emotion, and it's certainly not a possession. It's more of a state of being where you're energized and eager. It can keep us from being bored without needing to pursue pleasure or riches. If we could get excitement without any cost, it would probably, in general, be a good thing. However, sometimes, certain people are only excited by certain topics or stimuli, or need to do certain actions, like running quickly, in order to provoke excitement in them. Because of this, you can very easily find yourself in a situation where you have to choose between an exciting action and the action that will benefit others the most. People who become obsessed with excitement, therefore, might pass up opportunities to grow in holiness because of their obsession. They might even start to take deliberate risks to life and limb in the hopes of reaching that rush of excitement again, like the first time that they did. If that causes them to die or suffer serious injuries, people who depend on them might suffer because of it. These dangers, and the dangers of being coerced into sin in exchange for excitement, are the big problems with being obsessed with it. Like all other good things, excitement and the ability to experience it ultimately come from God, so we shouldn't need to be separated from excitement in the same way we shouldn't need to be separated from Him. However, we are because of sin. As always, our goal needs to be turning our backs on sin and accepting God's gift of eternal life by repentance. Boredom feels wrong to us because deep down we know it's not how things were meant to be. In seeking to obey the will of God and to do the right thing, we're really looking for consistent excitement and many other things besides. After all, Seek ye therefore first the kingdom of God and his justice, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6.33 Next time, The Temptation of Beauty That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.